My name is Susan MJ, and it's with great joy that we are here again for the Healing Line. As you know, um, of course, this is the third video in the Healing Line series as we prepare for the God of Miracles. Of course, today is a glorious Thursday, and uh, I'm reaching you from the city of God. And I'm so excited to be bringing you God's word where healing is concerned. Yesterday, we considered the man whom Paul looked upon and said or noticed that he had faith to be healed. So um, today we'll still be doing the book of Acts today. Um, but just before we go too far, I hope all of you are coming for the God of Miracles already. Um, your bags packed, your expectations high. Um, and I hope you are still using the remaining days that we have to reach out to more people to come. Um, the power of God will be available at Pizza Event Center, opposite Campus Gate on Ibada Road. And the power of God will be available to heal. There will be all kinds of miracles. There will be all kinds of miracles. Um, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what Jesus is going to do in these meeting all right so um uh, let's go to acts chapter three of course this is just after the holy ghost had come upon the disciples acts three from verse one now peter and john went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer the ninth hour and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms from those who entered the temple who seeing peter and john about to go into the temple asked for arms so the man asked for arms and fixing his eyes on him i want us to notice verse 4 with john peter said look on us you see um when the healings will begin and even when the teachings are occurring um do all you can to fix your gaze peter said look on us all right so um when they're leading worship keep your eyes on the people when they are leading prayers um as you're praying when they say okay open your eyes let's, let's keep your eyes let there be an intention let there be focus as i'll be bringing you god's word keep your eyes on me peter said look on us all right um let there be intentionality all right because um if you were speaking to receive something there would be a body language there would be um, um a certain demeanor that we would have as we were looking forward to receive it. So he said, look on us. And so he gave them their attention, expecting to receive something from them. Of course, he wasn't expecting to receive healing from them, but he was expecting to receive something from them. And that's the body language when you come for the meeting. You must be paying attention, expecting that your miracle will drop any time from the moment you got into the meeting. Are we together? Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I have, I give to you. He now says, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. In that meeting, um, we will be bringing the name of Jesus, backed up with the power of Jesus, to cause all manner of miracles. It's and gave so. the instruction and said, rise up and walk. And then he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately, his feet and ankle bones received strength. Now look at verse 8, very important. So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. Look at that. He leaped. Then he says, walking, leaping, and praising God. Hands will be laid on you. For in fact, the beautiful thing about the God of miracles is that God has instructed me to lay my hands on every single person who comes for the God of miracles. All manner of things will happen. Gifts will be activated. Um, people will people will step into a greater manifestation of the power of God that's already inside of them by the laying on of hands. But most especially, people who are sick in their body will be made every wit hole i mean every wit hole now as hands will be laid on you your job is to move around leaping praising god thanking god for your miracle as hands are laid on you and you're told to go don't just walk around unsure questioning no walk around praising god 
There should be testimony in your lips. I've been made whole. I'm healed. The power of God has healed me. Because while hands will be laid on you, you will participate by the word of your confession. So the man scripture says, lipped as, as, as I will be pulling you out of the wheelchairs, pulling you out of the chairs. I'm speaking God's word, giving you instructions. Open your eyes and see as I'll be giving you directions. Speak as I'll be talking, as I'll be giving you instructions under the influence of the power of God. Your job is to respond accordingly. Leap, jump and give praise to God. Your praise doesn't stop in the hall. Your praise only begun in the hall. It's something that will be continuous. You'll be moving around giving glory to God excited thanking God speaking to everyone that you see about all that the Lord God has done for you the God of miracles this Saturday will be a healing meeting like none that we have ever had we're looking forward to seeing an outpouring of God's compassionate power where healing is concerned I look forward to having you 9am first session will be a teaching session and like I said yesterday it's a revelation session and then in the evening we will be having a power evening and um, hands will be laid on everyone that will be present in the meeting I look forward to having you around I trust that you're coming if you're coming again the links to register um, are all over please registrations are still on and as you come um, we're making room for you making space for you um, to come and be a part of what God is doing. Until I come your way tomorrow, I look forward to having you with me on the healing line tomorrow. Same time, same platforms, of course, 5 p.m. every evening until the God of miracles. I declare that you are healed in your body, you are healed in your bones, that the power of God is already upon you and that you're already having testimonies and miracles. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Enjoy. I attended the Sunday service during the Max series where our pastor talked about some people that only have to drink bottled water because their systems can't take others and how he playfully expounded the truth about our identity. Those words just stood out to me because prior to that moment, I could only drink specific brands of bottled water. I could only eat from certain places. Like, I couldn't just up and go and eat out the way other people can just, you know, hang out and stuff. In fact, I would fall really ill with diarrhea for days. Sometimes I wouldn't even have finished eating when this, before the symptoms would start. I took pastor's words really seriously. And right from service, I stepped outside. I bought a bottled smoothie. I took sachet water. In fact, that week I bought a bag. I was just buying bags upon bags. And I started eating roadside amala. <laughs> you for a fact that since that day I've eaten Amala every day and I'm, I'm still very healthy I've not had even a headache since that Sunday join us this month at our special God of Miracles meeting where God's servant, the prophet of God, Pastor St. MJ, will be ministering on the 23rd of September 2023 in the city of God, Ileife. Check the flyer for more details. Come hungry, come expectant, the miracle is here.